In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to do these exploding emojis with particular plugin. So if you've never used particular before, you might benefit from watching my previous tutorial on the absolute basics of particular. In this tutorial, we're going to do this exploding emojis that kind of like similar to the Instagram react emojis. So basically what I want to do is I want the emojis to kind of like explode and then it floats up and I want it to also have different kind of emojis. So not just like one item. We're going to start from scratch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a composition here and I'm going to leave the frame rate to 25 and the duration to five seconds. Let's create solid. So right click new solid and leave it as black and I'm going to call it emojis. Now go to your effects and presets and type in particular. Drop that onto your solid and then click on this designer button and then it'll show up this window. Now I've explained the basics of each of these blocks in my previous tutorial. So go watch that tutorial first to be familiar with the window. So basically we're going to start from emitter type here. So at the moment, if you look on your right here, the emitter behavior is on continuous. So that just means that the particle just kind of like spreading out continuously. And what we want to do for this one is we want it to kind of like explode once and then that's it. So change the continuous to explode. So if you click on a drop down menu, choose explode. So it's just kind of like explode like that once. Now we also want to reduce the particles to say 50 for now and then leave the other as is. I want to jump into the particle type first. Click on a particle type. You see on your right here, um, change the particle type from a sphere to sprite. So select sprite there and then this control will come up. And basically what you need to do is to click on this button, choose sprite. They have this extensive library of different icons and sprites. Um, they have a lot of like 2D geometric shapes, but they also have 3D geometric shapes here and even stuff that's animated like, um, for example, this ones right here. So for example, if we choose this random burst, so just double click on it. So as you can see, that's blinking there, but obviously you can't really see what's going on because the particle size is really small. So I'm going to go on size rotation here and just bump up the size for now. So just so that we can see what's going on. So as you can see, the sprite is animating. So they already have those animated sprites in the library if you want to use it. Now let's go back to particle type again. For this one, we want to create emojis, right? So I'm going to choose sprite again and basically if you scroll down to the bottom, they'll have this one called custom. So it's your own sprite. So you can upload your own sprite. So in order to do that, just click on this add new sprite on the top here and basically just choose your icon or sprite. So I'm going to choose this emoji hard eyes and then click open and then it'll pop up under the custom. So I'm going to double click on that and now your particles has your emojis. Now let's just play around with the other settings now. So at the moment, the particles kind of like stop over there just before the composition stops. So that's because if you see on the right here, the life seconds is at three. So that's three seconds. That means that your particle stops at three seconds, whereas our composition is five seconds. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change it to five because our composition is five. So now the particles will kind of like stays there until the end of the composition. And I'm probably gonna change the life random to 100 as well so that some of them will kind of like disappear before five seconds. So we're gonna do a bit of back and forth here. Let's go into size and rotation because I wanna change the size for these particles. Um, let's do 20 for the size. And then I'm gonna hit the size random to 50%. So it's just kind of like randomized a little bit. Now I'm going to change the orient to motion to a little bit, maybe like around 50%, just so that the rotation of each particle kind of like different. Now I want to go back to motion 
and basically I'm gonna bump up the velocity because at the moment it just kind of like explodes really slowly so I'm actually gonna change this to a thousand so it just kind of have that solid explosion now the next thing I want to do is to go to environment now this is a new thing that I actually just learned so if you click on any of these block once it'll show this settings on the right but if you click on it twice it'll actually show this what they call block presets and these are just like pre-made presets that you can use for this environment I want it to kind of like flow this up so I'm probably gonna choose um, the turbulent wind so I'll just double click on that and it'll go back to the settings and basically as you can see it has a little bit of like turbulence and it obviously kind of like moves to the right as well because the wind x is 150 what I want is actually to change the wind y so that it kind of like floats up in order to make it go up I'll have to slide this number to the right and basically it'll kind of like floats up maybe I'll add a bit more so minus around minus 400 maybe yep so it just kind of like floats up like that and maybe I want to reduce the wind x to maybe 50 so it doesn't go to the right too much you can also adjust the effect position so if I adjust it to like 300 so it's just kind of like half that air turbulence but obviously that is a bit too much so let's reduce it down to 100 maybe and see I think that kind of like has that floating effect now the next thing I want to do is to go to fields again if you click on a block once it'll show the settings but if you double click on it then it'll show the presets so there's a couple of presets here what I want to do is to use this effect size so fields is basically it just kind of like creates a field and it just automates your particle accordingly so for example if I select effect size and double click on it it'll kind of like affect the size of each particle I don't know if you can see that I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit more so that you can see it so I can, as you can see, the size of each particle has that kind of like turbulence. So that's what I want, but not that much. So maybe I reduce it down to 100. So it still has that movement. Maybe it'll reduce it a bit more to 50. I think I kind of like that um, movement. What you want to do now is to hit apply. So you can end it there. But what I want to do now is actually to create a couple of different emojis that exploded once. This is probably not the best way or not the correct way to do it but this is what I usually do. Once you create that sprite in the designer tab before, it will create a layer which is basically your emoji. So if you double click on that, that's basically just your emojis. What I usually do is I, I would pre-comp this layer. So right click and then pre-compose. And then if you go inside there, I would cut up these layers into a couple of layers and for this case I'll just cut it up to like five because there's like five seconds and then I would go to project here and I'll go to my stills I've already imported a couple of different emojis here I'm gonna replace a couple of these layers with different emojis so if you just play the composition it just basically change every second right but if you go back to the main com now it has different type of emojis that's inside the pre -com. There's a little problem when you do it this way because if you go back to your particular emojis layer and then go back inside the designer. Now once you're back in the designer window and then you hit apply, this message will come up. I might be wrong but I think it just basically particular can't read the pre-com as like footage item but the thing is once you hit OK usually it'll be alright like there will be no problem but if that bothers you what I usually do is I would go into that emoji pre-com and what I do is I would just export it as MOF or AVI with alpha so control M and then I'll change this lossless to QuickTime and then just make sure the channels is RGB plus alpha and we don't need audio and then hit OK yeah just click on the emojis any and choose where you want to save it for me I'll just choose the outputs save and then render and once that's done you can close the render queue and go back to the project and also go back to the main comp you can import the MOV file before 
so that was the emojis any and basically you can just like replace this precomp with this mov file now nothing will change because it's basically the same like animation but if you go back inside the designer tab again and then you hit apply there will be no warning sign so yeah that's fixed so yeah that's how you create exploding emojis thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoy that and i'll see you next time